Welcome back, everybody. This is episode 178 of the Real Top Series. I'm Toasty FM, and we are back um, with a big game today. This has actually turned into a very important game that we're just going to get into in just a second. So, since uh, since yesterday's episode, we have uh, had a few games. You obviously saw us uh, beat Chelsea. Big game. Big game. Still really happy that that happened, even with, you know, missed the penalty. I thought that was going to be our last chance, but came back, got the victory still. Uh, Porto uh, drew nil-nil. Probably, if you look at the stats, probably like the most even game you're ever going to find. We had a little more possession, but shots, shots on target, um... Fairly even. We had a little more fouls. We have some more protection, but really, really even. And uh, nice to see. I thought we could have maybe gotten the victory, but just didn't happen for us. Uh, Meriten and uh, Tas Plugal, a rotated squad. Um, a little bit of a mixture there. Not a full rotation, but a little bit. Um, Urhold got a game. Uh, Young Jong Day did. Braga, Sangare went out there. Uh, Flavio Marcelo uh, played uh, along with Tutore, but Harris, Carlos Diaz were out there. Uh, then Malmo, another big game. Um, it was getting it was getting late. I mean, we still got the victory. Two red cards for them. They only finished with nine men, but uh, still, I think that kind of glosses over um, a result that was deserved. Uh, in my mind, clearly deserved. So. Uh, so yeah, so today we have a game against the 30 Game and I think a win today would tie us, uh, at the top of the table. Uh, Benfica, I believe, lost two. I'm not sure, but I do know they did lose, which is huge. Um, and it's a very tight at the top right now. A win today would put us, um, joint top. Uh, Sporting has 25. Uh, they lost to Fade Ant. So, uh, so we have to keep up with them. Uh, and I mean, it's gonna be a this is gonna be a very interesting, a uh, much closer title race, I think, than it was last year. Last year we didn't necessarily uh, run away with it, but we were probably about six points ahead, pretty much the entire second half of the season. So, this is big. This is big. I won the victory today. I think we can do it. Uh, it's starting to give an iron team struggling. They've been struggling the last few years, so they don't have. They need to get so short their stuff out, or they're going to be going down. They've been really mid table, and they're a team that should be doing a lot better um, than just mid table. They should be up here with these teams, um, just behind the big four, which I'm going to call now, because it really is big four. We're up there now. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so let's look at the lineup for today's game and uh, get into it. So this is the lineup for today's game. Pretty much the team that's been playing all season. There has been a little bit of rotation between uh, Yang Jongdae and um, and Jordan Smith. Uh, Jordan Smith plays more... Um, I mean, it's actually been kind of even. Uh, but everybody else has been playing fairly consistently. I think Gouvet is having a much better season than he was having last season. Uh, at least to start off. Uh, Becker is obviously continuing his great form. Uh, Giddy is having a better season than last season. So overall, I'm, I'm really happy with the way it's going. Um, we still got a lot of work to do. It is it is still early in the season. We haven't really earned anything. Uh, I know we are going through in the Champions League. Uh, we are going into the knockout stages. Um, but I mean, really, what I mean, that's really nice to say. But still, I I, um, I want to continue doing what we what we can do. Uh, so that's not going to be good enough. So, um, I want, I want to win another title. Um, I, I'm hungry. I, I don't think just, um, now that we won the title that I, we could take the breaks off. I want the Champions League title. I don't think it's going to be this year. I'm not, um, you know, I'm not on drugs, but, and I think also this year is huge as well because at this end of this year, we have some big sponsorships. That are gonna be ready for um, that that are gonna be up for 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 signatures. So we can get some big sponsorship deals if we can establish ourselves 
as as what we already have continued establishing ourselves as one of the best teams in Portugal, if not the best, as that's a terrible goal to give up. Um, a terrible tackle there by one of our midfielders, and it falls right to the feet of the Game Ice player, and they go up 1-0. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, that might be Jordan Smith. It was not. Is it number four? Yeah, he puts his hand up. Probably Jordan Smith. I think it was a number. I think it was uh, number six there. Um, but very disappointing. Very disappointing. Not what we want to see at all. Still early, which is nice. But um, but yeah, we should be doing a lot better in my mind. Uh, and we need to do so. We need to get some some work done today. Um, for sure. But like I was said, we have some sponsorships up for. Um, and up for you know getting resigned and that could be that could be a lot that could be some big money for us if if we play well um you know that's that's shirt spot i think it's a shirt sponsorship stadium sponsorship name uh but we can get that's millions of dollars that could help us sign some quality players um you know make the stadium bigger i mean there's that gives us a lot of options so um Holding on to our players. I mean, we are uh, a lot of our players are not a lot of money, and we they, they're getting they're poached pretty easily. Just look at Aurelio. Um, and, and uh, I mean, some bigger release clauses would be nice. Um, I think the fact that our highest, uh, with the most we've gone from a player is a couple million, I think is ridiculous. I think there's some players in there that should be sell, selling for. Four ten to ten million dollars. I I think a guy like Aguide should not be leaving for less than ten million dollars. Uh, if you were so if you if he if he were somewhere else, he'd be worth a lot more of that. Same with Morena. He's a, a full Uruguay international. He should be going for a lot more. Um, you know than it says his worth value is. So that needs to change. And they're going up to nil, man. Why? How? How do we beat Chelsea? And we can't even do this. It's ridiculous. Junior here. I mean, a good ball in, but both our center backs are are are, are you, you call it covering, but it's not. They're not playing def defense on him, and um and just bad, bad, bad. Just not defensively poor. Um, from our center back partnership, they should be doing better. Um, attacking wise, not doing much. Guvea, I praised him, and he's been crap today. Our entire left side has not been good enough, and um, I really, I'm really disappointed. This maybe this is a game where we should have, where we should have gone with our normal formation. Um, but man, I mean, with the play, and also the placer on the table. I mean, this this is a team that's bottom half of the table, and if, and this is just not good enough. In, in all honesty. Um, very disappointed. Gouveia, uh, Gouveia is getting subbed off. Next chance I get, because that's just ridiculous. You gotta pass the ball, Gouveia. I don't understand. How are you getting just picked off for the ball? Just being lazy there. Becker here, he's gonna get past his man. Um, he does there. Becker get inside. Give the ball to somebody that can do some work. Oh, it's just, it's just not gonna happen for us. It's not gonna happen for us. It's clear. Especially with shots like that with Becker. I'm just not happy at all. Um, really disappointed. Really disappointed with the day's game. Um, Aguide is going out on the left hand side, and Uchtold's coming in at striker. Um, two nil, and and a two nil result. I with with, with Benfica losing. Uh, you know this should be time where we need to pick up points. <sighs> Especially with Sporting and Porto uh, picking up points as well. It's just, it's, that's just not good enough. It's not good enough at all. Our entire defense has had a really bad game. The first goal, fair enough, it was unfortunate, but, I mean, that really killed us. It really killed us. This might, it's going to be probably a third. Okay, we're probably going to score a goal here, but it's going to be a consolation. It's not going to be worth the, the crap that, you know... 
you know, it's not going to be anything. And then with balls like that, I mean, really, what are we really doing here? They might score a third. I, I would not be surprised. And, you know, they should, and the guys should be embarrassed. Um, it does it look like it would be too, too nil, but... Um, Becker here. Becker just getting pulled apart. Nobody having any kind of creativity. Nobody really looking like they want to go forward. Becker just just not having that kind of day. Gvea being terrible in my mind. Uh, Gide being blah as possible. Just the passes are bad. I it's just really disappointing game. At least you guys saw me beat Chelsea and you're like, oh, this guy's full of crap. Because he can't, you know, you know, beat anything. Um, that's terrible. That's really terrible. Really terrible. Away from home. It's my fault. Tactically, we set up we set up not well. But still, I, I would expect a team that's better from a team that won the title last season. We have to. We, as a team, we should do a lot better than that. We should. I'm not even going to talk about it. Come back tomorrow against Leverkusen, and I promise a better, a better, at least a better, um, anything. Just come back tomorrow, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry. And uh, take care of yourselves.